maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about them. Hi guys, so today I am here to film my July TBR and I need your help because I don't know what to read this month. There are a few books that I really want to definitely get done this month that I've picked out and then there are just loads of books that I want you guys to help me choose from. So please help me out by commenting down below once this video is over and saying what you want me to read this month because I am having a hard time choosing out of these books what I want to read this month and I would appreciate your input so much. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get started. So the first book that I am already reading this month is Pierce Brown's Red Rising and this is a sort of sci-fi read at the moment. I'm not really sure. I'm only 20 pages in. I only started it last night but I'm definitely going to be reading this this month. It's all about this guy who is a red. A red is like the lowest caste of society and it's about how he believes that he is making the surface of Mars ready for society to come and build on it but actually he's been betrayed and that is all a lie and the golds who are the top ranking cast have been lying to the reds and it's all about what he does when he finds that out. So I'm really enjoying it so far, it's definitely really interesting, there's a lot of technological sort of sci-fi lingo that I don't really know yet, all made up, I think it's not real, but I'm really excited to get on with this book so I'd love to know if you guys have read this. Next I have Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead, again this is one that I have started, I'm about 60 pages of the way through this. And I'm enjoying it so far, it's quite funny, quite witty which is nice and it's definitely more of a YA feeling which is cool because I've been reading a lot of fantasy recently. So I'm enjoying it so far, it's about vampires, there are three different types of vampires, the Morari, the Strigori who are the bad ones and the Damphia who are basically the protectors of the Morari and it's quite interesting and fun so far so again let me know if you guys are reading this and this is one that I will definitely be reading. The next one that I really want to try and get done in the month of June, although I may end up just reading the first third of it because it is a bind up, is The Lord of the Rings. I am finally going to read this, I have decided, because I have been meaning to read this for ages. I'm not sure if I'm going to get through the whole lot because it's 1008 pages and the writing is absolutely tiny. So yeah, probably not going to get through all of them this month, but I'm hoping that I'll at least be able to get through The Fellowship of the Ring, which is the first book. I would love to know if you guys think I should read this, but this is one that I'm planning on definitely trying to get through at least one of the stories, because I have been meaning to read this since I read The Hobbit last year in like September or something like that, so long ago, so I really really want to get onto this and read this. So. Now is the time and I might do one book each month for July, August, September. We shall see how it goes but I'm really excited about starting this and I would love to know your guys thoughts on this. So here's where it gets a little bit open because I have 11 books here and I don't know what else to read in this month. It is the book Tubathon happening in the middle of July so I'm hoping that I'll be able to participate in at least some of that. I'm going to be quite busy that week so I don't know how much I'm actually going to get done but that's why I've chosen more books this month than last month and so on. So I would love you guys to let me know what you want me to read and what you think I would really enjoy and let me just show you guys these books. So of course the first two are the ones that I mentioned last month as part of my TBR and I didn't get done and that is book number five of The Wheel of Time, The Fires of Heaven by Robert Jordan. This one I've been meaning to start for ages and I definitely want to give it a try very soon so that would be great. And Captain's Fury by Jim Butcher, this is book number four in the Codex Illyria series so both of these were on my TBR last month and I hope that I'll be able to get to at least one of them in this month but again that depends on what you guys choose for me to read so let me know what you think. Next I have Blood Song which is by Anthony Ryan and this I know that Melissa has just read over at Lisa Aniella, I will link her channel down below, she's just read this and she loved it and she gave it a really wonderful review so I'm very excited to read this because I've heard nothing but absolutely fantastic things about this and I really want to find out why everyone loves it so much and I'm hoping that I will love it too. So I definitely want to give this a try sometime soon, let me know what you think. Then I have The Assassin's Blade, which is the novellas from the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas and they're all collected into this story, it's quite short so I'm hoping I can get to this maybe if you guys want to see. 
I've been meaning to read this for ages and the cover is so gorgeous that it's just calling to me every time I look at my bookshelf so I thought I would include it this month and see if you guys want me to read it. Next I have More Than This by Patrick Ness. I feel like it's time for another Patrick Ness because I read his Chaos Walking series last summer when I was on holiday and it's summer again so why not read another Patrick Ness? I've not read anything by him since then and I do really enjoy his writing style so I'm sure I'm going to love this so again let me know about this. Next I have a super short one because I thought all of these books are pretty long so far or at least 300 pages the majority so this one is a tiny book and I thought I would be able to get this done pretty fast so why not chuck it in here and see what you guys think this is a kid story it's called Ranger's Apprentice and it's The Ruins of Gorlan book number one by John Flanagan so I'm definitely intrigued by this series, it's one of those series that's been floating around for years and I have seen it around and just never got into it so why not try it? Next I have The Disappeared by CJ Harper. So one day this guy gets beaten up and suddenly everyone, all of his teachers and his friends claim that they don't know him and he gets taken to this special place where teachers and people are locked up in cages and it sounds really interesting, very exciting and I've heard good things about this so I definitely want to give this a try very soon. Next I have Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I had this on my TBR a couple of months ago and I never got around to it and I have been meaning to read some more Sanderson because obviously I've gone for a little while without reading any and I love him and he's one of my favourite authors by far so definitely want to check this out. I believe it's all about colours and that sounds really interesting and I'm very much excited to start this very soon. Next I have Retribution Falls by Chris Wooding. This is a book that I kind of picked up on a whim not really knowing too much about but loads of you guys when I showed you it in my unboxing said that it was amazing so I definitely wanted to include it and see if you guys want me to read it because I've heard good things from you lot so let me know about that. Next I have Mallory Blackman's Noble Conflict and this is I think a kind Kind of YA book that I don't think it's very fantasy based but I could be wrong I don't know but I really loved Mallory Blackman when I was little and I really want to try out some more of her stuff because I haven't read anything by her for years so let me know if you want me to read this it's quite short so I reckon I could get through it fairly fast and the final book that I have to show you guys this month is Rogues which was edited by Gardner Dozios and George R.R. R. Martin but it's an anthology which includes work by Gillian Flynn, Neil Gaiman, Patrick Rothfuss, Joe Abercrombie, Connie Willis and Scott Lynch and George R.R. R. Martin so sounds like a really really good list of names. There's a load more on the back as well who are also included and I just cannot wait to read this and get my teeth into some of the stories especially the Patrick Rothfuss ones because I have been waiting to read more of his work since reading The Wise Man's Fear. I'm just very eager to start that and find out more about Bast who is in the story in here and I definitely want to give this one a try. It's a new purchase that I only just got so I'm really excited about this and you haven't seen it in an unboxing or anything but I have it and I'm ready to read it so again let me know if you guys want to see me read this and I would love to hear what you think. So those are all of the book choices that you guys have. I would love to know what you think please help me out because as I say I want to read all of them at some point but I need help choosing what to read first so please let me know what you guys think and I would be very very grateful for your input. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the